What's up everybody, Beefy here again. Today we're going to go through Siege of Orgrimmar, one of the longest and most frustrating transmog runs you can do. So let's start with the location. Here in Pandaria and Vale of Eternal Blossoms on the right hand or eastern side you'll see Mogushan Palace. It's right there, the green circle. Right now you gotta fly over here and uh, the entrance is underwater. So that's what it looks like on the outside and then just go kind of underwater right there and you'll see the entrance to the dungeon. Make sure your difficulty setting is appropriate to whatever transmogs you want. I'm looking for mythic mode. Once you get inside, you will run down either the right or left hand side, it doesn't matter. Uh, you're gonna take out some of these ads. Again, none of these are necessary to get the boss to spawn or anything, but just clearing the way, maybe picking up some interesting loot along the way. So here we have Immersius. And Immersius is the first boss and the first annoying boss and kind of setting the tone for the rest of the dungeon really. Uh, you can see he spawns and then explodes and then respawns and then explodes. Basically what you gotta do is attack the dark puddles that are moving towards him and I've blown up the little bar that you gotta track. Basically once that bar underneath his health bar gets below 30, then you win. I don't know what the fight was supposed to be or uh, any of that. I just know that um, once that bar below his health reaches below 30, um, you get some cool looking loot. So there you go, 25, you win, go loot the box, good to go. All right, good job. Boss number one, done. Now run up these stairs and uh, there's a little platform here you run on top of. This is a button. It looks like the heroic leap button for warriors. It's not. It's a uh, part of the dungeon. It's a mechanic, so everyone gets it. And then uh, run up, continue to run up the stairs here. All right, now we're on the second boss. This is known as the Fallen Protectors. There's three of them. Um, Again, not entirely sure what the fight was supposed to be, but I know that you gotta try to kill all three of them pretty much at the same time, otherwise they'll resurrect uh, or start to heal each other. But that being said, there's no real tricks to this fight other than trying to get them all down together. It could be a little tricky just because there's so many ads, but it's pretty simple. Next, you're going to mount up and just run past all the mobs and everything else happening here. You got to kill that mob called Zeal, otherwise this passageway won't open up. But now we get to sit tight and enjoy some roleplay. Once you get the dialogue option, go ahead and start the fight. There is nothing to this fight. Um, just walk on up and slap him until he goes down. Uh, one thing that's interesting is that you have a corruption meter. And at least in BFA, you had a cloak that prevented corruption, but uh, doesn't seem to do much here. Anyway, just smack him and loot him. There you go. So. After he's down, go ahead and wait for these doors to open. Once they're open, you gotta kill all these blue monster creature things and just run around, spin to win. Whatever you gotta do, get rid of them. Uh, as far as I know, there's no good loot that drops off of them. I usually only get greens and blues. I don't, I rarely get any purples, but anyway, once they're all dead, you'll see that uh, big guy Shaw of uh, pride pops up and again same thing as the last guy no no tricks nothing special about him just hit him till he's dead then loot the box and stand over here and wait for the portal to spawn more role play now once the portal spawns click it run over talk to this guy Tell him to open up another portal, which he will, and then click on that portal. Once you're over here on the docks, just mount up and run around and kill every mob that you see that's by these guns. 
I wouldn't bother looting them until you go back, because you're gonna go back. So once you get to the far end, you'll see the red bombs next to the cannons. Click them, wait for them to explode, and then move on to the next ones. You gotta do this for all of the cannons that are on the beach. Once you do that, it will, I guess, clear the way for your boat to come into harbor. And as we wait for the role-playing boat to come in, now's a good time to clean up your inventory. Once he shows up, tell him uh, you're good to go, start the fight. Now, this Galacris fight is, used to be an absolute nightmare, but they've made it much simpler now to solo. So what you're gonna do is stand up here on the left-hand tower and kill that mob, then jump down and kill the mobs that are down there. Because you've got basically one role in this fight, and that's to prevent your NPCs from dying. So this is very much a babysitting fight. You want to especially make sure that these two cool cats who are opening up the door don't die. Um, and then you can see the uh, NPCs down there. They're much hardier. They're, you know, Sylvanas and uh, the elf dude with one eye. Don't remember his name. And uh, so they're much less likely to die, but you also don't want them. I, I don't know if you fail the fight or not, but I don't know. It's not worth, not worth it. So just kind of hang out. There you go. They open the door and now go inside, go upstairs. And you're going to kill all of the mobs that are at the top. Now you're going to take over this cannon and find Galakras. You're going to have to shoot him twice. Once you shoot him twice, you jump on down and uh, wait for him to come down to your level. Used to be you had to do this same thing you did on that left tower to the right tower at the same time. It was absolutely brutal, but anyway, fortunately, that's how you do the fight now. So hop back on your mount, run on over here to through the only path you really can go all the way around. And you can kind of see why this uh, takes forever. Um, now, the Iron Juggernaut fight, this one is very much just run up and slap him and get your loot. Once you've looted him, mount back up again and run over to the door. Wait for it to open. Uh, there's some cool ninja stars flying into it. You can run past all these mobs. I usually free this panda in just because I feel kind of bad for him, but you don't have to, I don't think. And then you run inside this building. That's where the uh, shaman uh, bosses are. Come on out. I always aggro these guys, so I just kill them anyway. Hop back on your mount, run up and to the right, go through the drag here, kill this guy, bear mace that guy, bear mace that guy, free Gammon because he will save us, and then go down into the Cleft of Shadow. Just hop on down kill these mobs. I don't know if you even need to, but I just do because it's, uh, I don't know, something to do after running through this thousand year long dungeon. Now we're coming to General Nazgrim. You can aggro all of these guys just by attacking the boss. And now we face the elevator boss and he just got me. Yeah, tried to jump down and be fancy with my slow fall cloak, but it didn't work. Anyway, make your way through here. Doesn't really matter if you kill these mobs or not. I usually do just for the satisfaction. Make your way through here. They're, I don't know, training or doing something with uh, mutants and killing each other. I don't know. Make your way through here. Kill those guys. Uh, there's some purples that could help. Here's another boss. Malkarok, nothing special, nothing to him. Just run up and slap him in the face. And now we will run a long, long time. Make your way through this doorway. And you'll see here, what's interesting about this pack of mobs is there's a guy sitting on the scorpion and he takes a little while to kill for some reason. Sometimes, not there, but I've had times where I kill everyone and he's still hanging out. So just be aware if the lever doesn't light up for you to switch back there, uh, make sure that that guy is killed. So flick the lever, open the doors, run through here, um, ignore those doors that you saw back there. You're going to want to focus on these three at the top of the screen. 
you're gonna have to kill the gun mobs there and then i usually go left doesn't matter if you go left or right so this door on the left goes to siege crafter black fuse you'll fight through three waves of bad guys that's the second wave and here comes the third wave there's nothing in any of these waves that'll one shot you or you really have to worry about so make your way through jump down any of those tubes and it'll pop you up over here kill the boss nothing crazy about the boss and then jump back over here into any of those tubes and it'll send you back up to the top now we will make our way through the right hand door and through this door we will come to probably the most annoying fight in the game. Uh, not just in the dungeon, I, I think this might be my least favorite fight. So you click the box and you choose whatever options you want, it won't make a difference. It's going to start this fight. Um, again, having not actually played through this expansion, I'm not entirely sure what was going on, but uh, you have four sections and you're going to jump down and open a bunch of boxes and kill everything that comes out and then once the lever lights up you click the lever then you run over to the chain and click the chain and it'll send you up you're gonna kind of go diagonally across do the same thing four times so click the boxes to open them which spawns bad guys that will send lights to that lever once the light lever actually lights up completely then you're good I guess so yeah do that four times and you got a nice little bar there it shows you out of 50 where you're at so there you go that one's lit up click on the lever click on the chain then go diagonally and uh, do this one more time I think right now I'm at 300% speed so yeah, you can see why this is my least favorite fight. There you go, last lever, clicked it. Yay, we win. Check my map to see which way I'm gonna go. And I loot it, and then I run on down this way. Can't mount up, unfortunately. Can't really do anything except for walk. I don't know why they made it such a long, long trek all the way through to get to the menagerie where you will find Thok the Bloodthirsty. A big old T-Rex with, I don't know, some serious Horizon Zero Dawn vibes. Anyway, run in, kill him, no big deal. Doesn't have any special anything. Just run up, smack him, loot him, and make your way back the way you came. Once you're back in the Underhold Nexus, go ahead and click that door now that it's unlocked. Run past all these bug splats. There's High Overlord Sarfang in the flesh, cleaving his way to victory. All right, now in here is a bunch of bug guys. You really only need to kill uh, the, the big bug there, Kobok, in order to make the crystal in the middle of there spawn. Now, once you click that crystal, you'll get, I think, seven or eight bug guys jump down and they're all bosses of some sort and they have special abilities and whatnot you'll see various things start to spawn around the room just ignore all those bads they're really not that important just make sure you don't kill the bosses too fast otherwise they'll despawn so now that the bug bosses are dead run on through this door you can kill or ignore all these ads as far as I know. Uh, I just think you can't get past this last uh, pack without aggroing them. So run on through and get ready for about two minutes of role playing goodness. So once Thrall gets knocked back, you can actually fight Garrosh. So just beat him up and he'll heal and stay at one health. Uh, but eventually you'll knock him around enough that he gets sucked up into the heart. When you go up into the heart with him, just kill all these ghost things. Uh, once you've killed all the ghost things, then you can target and hit Garrosh. Just hit him with anything and it'll pop him back into the throne room. 
Once he gets into the throne room, he'll turn into a big purple eyeball dude. Uh, let's go ahead and beat him up some more. Just work on your rotation, I guess. You know, I don't know. Just do something. Eventually, he'll come through and he'll teleport you to Stormwind. Or some version of Stormwind. And that's when you get to actually kill him. So kill him, loot him, and you're good to go. And there you have it. That's Siege of Orgrimmar. Good job. You made it through the end. This video is compressed by about 300 to 500% on average. So... Uh, it's gonna take you about 45 minutes to an hour to complete that on a good day So thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. Leave a comment if you liked it Leave a like if you want to see more of this stuff subscribe and uh, yeah, hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye